hey guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to night two of 13 nights of fright oh my god i forgot to turn off the washer last year i did movies and board games but this year i'm doing movies and books night two we're gonna be talking about some book recommendations that i think you should maybe try out this spooky season now if you are um checking me out from the uh booktube community hello my name is stephanie i normally do movie related content with a little bit of board game content and now i'm kind of sprinkling also a little bit of book content now i don't have all the books that i'm going to be talking about but whatever i don't have i'll put up here and i'll let you guys know somewhere on the screen also possibly over here if it's on um can eliminate so we're gonna start off with thrillers and this might be like a little controversial because of the author i do know that a lot of people don't like the author i personally i really don't know what all it's about but it's neither here nor there for me i am able to kind of separate the person with the work and this was actually my very first Colleen Hoover book and this is gonna be Verity. This is a crazy bitch y'all and if they were to make this into a movie I think uh the crazy bitch should be played by Rosamund Pike. I think she would do great. So basically we're following Loen here. This is how you say her name and she's like a struggling right struggling writer I think or she's like on the brink of ruin. That's what it is and she was basically hired to finish off Verity's book series. She is a successful writer and we dive into her story it cray cray. It was a part that I said, oh, that was scary. Let me close you. And that was done for, for a little bit. Okay, not just for, like, for the night. Okay, because it, it got a little scary. It's not like super scary. It just had like something scary happen. Okay. And let me know, are you team manuscript or are you team letter? The second book that I'm going to be recommending in the thriller section is going to be one that I don't have, but it's going to be The Perfect Child by Lucinda Berry. And here we had a crazy ass female, adult female. There we have a crazy ass demonic child, y'all. Okay, because I'm not telling y'all that little kid. And when you read the book, you know, you know, like at the moment I said you demon child. I would have left her and my husband if you think I'm gonna be with that damn you really should go into that as blind as you can and I'm I tend to always accidentally give spoilers so just get that reaction as you wish because that little kid that little demon child whoo I, I probably would have been gone to jail I, I would have beat that kid you swing poop poop we're gonna move on to um haunted houses first one is the september house by carissa orlando this book is so so good i did the audiobook and i think the audiobook was absolutely wonderful but if you are a non-audiobook believer or just it's not for you that's totally okay i still think you'll enjoy the book it is haunted house but it has like a little funny part to it. It takes place in, you guessed it, September. And this house goes kind of cray cray in September, y'all. I think at one point I kind of questioned myself. I said, hold up, hold up. But then it was like, no, it wasn't. Again, I'm trying to be super vague because I accidentally give spoilers like all the time. <laughs> I'm a very animated person, so <laughs> you'll get it from there. Book number two is going to be Incidents Around the House. And that is by Josh uh, Mallerman. Apologies if I say your name wrong. Okay, I also did the audio and let me tell y'all, I was on vacation, right? I started this when I was in Mexico and I said, okay, let me like listen to it over here because I don't want any bad juju vibes at the house. I started listening to it and then I heard like the little girl, oh, my other mommy got out of the closet. I said, pause, that is enough for today. Mind you, that was like another day and I said, that is enough. This little girl, she is being visited by the other mother and the other mother is up to no good and when i tell y'all i finished it and i go home huh, i was expecting more out of this right it's not that scary i had heard that it was pretty scary it has again it does have its creepy moments like there was parts where i was just like oh shit. uh but then at the end of the day i was just like i don't know all right fine finished it on vacation came back i was cool i was jamming and then like literally the other day, like from when I'm filming this on October the 13th, all right, I was sitting down in my bed, minding my business. I got up to go throw something away in my bathroom. I came back, tell me why my closet door was open. Like it has swung open. It had never just swings open. Okay, like that, mind you, it doesn't close very well, but it doesn't like just swing. Like it was open. I was just like, hold up, what? What? And I'm like walking, I'm like, don't pay much attention to it. I was like, okay, whatever. And I closed it back up and I laid my little self back down. And my heart was pounding because I immediately got about the other mother. And I said, no, not today. 
not today. You may not get into my heart. No. Anywho, let's get the shit out of me. So we're gonna move on to some slashers and some gothic books. Uh, I do love slasher movies. It's one of my favorite um, like genres as far as horror goes. So when I heard about Taste Like Candy, and then like, look at this cover. Isn't that just so yummy? I said, yes, say less. I want, and there's a book too. I'm not gonna lie. I don't love the book, but I would recommend it. You know what I mean? It's like, it, 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 I, it's memorable, but I wasn't like fully there for it. But it's very, very short. We're following eight, eight girls who are going on a scavenger hunt for like their senior, like final deal that they do every single year. And they end up going to a amusement park. That's where the scavenger, it's a scavenger hunt sort of situation. And they were sent to an amusement park. And they thought it was kind of strange, whatever. But while they're at the amusement park, one by one, they each keep getting okay in like the most gruesome way and it's just like who is killing them why are they killing them kind of situation and it, it's just a really fun slasher movie movie <laughs> book but i could see it as a movie not the cadia it is one that's pretty popular right now on, on uh book talk this is by carrie lake it is a big one y'all so just be wary Sure big okay dark academia student teacher relation but like that's kind of like on the back burner so there is a little of a romance happening in here but it's not like the main focus it's more of oh let's go to this school where shit be happening and there's like a secret that's behind it and you definitely get gothic vibes out of it it's really really great it triggered some stuff for me that I was just like ah come to think about it I don't know why I did not put that other book in here okay we're gonna piggyback off of this to another one who's also a thriller I don't know why I didn't put that on there because that one oh my gosh is like creepy but there is like a mysterious illness involving some sort of parasite Y'all, this parasite cray cray, okay? Because it gets you. And because of this one, it would remind me of this other book that lives rent free. And we're just gonna go ahead and, and like go on to that one. The one that that one kind of triggered that I can't believe I totally forgot to mention is gonna be The Troop by Nick Cutter. I don't even know why I don't have this book because I do love the book. So basically, in that one, we're following a like kind of like Boy Scout the troop like boy scouts and they're going to like this island to go camping whatever with their uh teacher with the head troop person whatever he is um and then uh they meet somebody and so shit goes down and that one let me just tell you <laughs> ah! there are parasites there are worms that get inside of you and like basically like they do stuff to you y'all oh my god that book lives rent free in my head that was one of our book club audiobooks like very early on when we started doing book club and literally it has traumatized all of us okay when i tell you every single time that i feel like something's like itching or crawling you know when you feel like something's crawling like inside your skin i immediately go with oh my god it's the troop it's the troop <laughs> the troop is inside of me <laughs> Mind you, the troop are the kids, but that's not what's inside of me. It's the damn worms from the book of the troop, and I just don't know what their name. They're, they're probably just worms, but it's cray. It is cray. It is traumatizing. I love it. And if you want something like that, I highly, highly recommend. It is one of like my favorite kind of like thriller books. My absolutely favorite gothic book is House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. I adore the. I mean, just look at that cover. She is gorgeous absolutely love this book uh we're following some sisters they go missing like when they were little they're gone for i think it was a couple months or weeks i can't remember exactly how long it's been they come back and they're a little different maybe i'm not sure um because again i don't want to spoil much it's another one that's probably best if you go in blind but just know that they're adults now and one of the sisters ends up going missing once again as an adult. So now the other sisters have to kind of find her and what's going on. A lot of secrets come out. A lot of crazy stuff happens. It is the most beautiful book, twisty, gothic, disturbing book ever. I adore it. 
this is one book that I would love to see as a movie or even like a I mean it's not really a miniseries because look it's a very short book so not a miniseries so just like a movie but the one director that I honestly feel like would do this book justice is going to be Guillermo del Toro. I just feel like he would be able to capture all the beauty, all the gore, all the gothic, all everything in this book. So we're going to go ahead and move on to our spicy horror because we all know we love us a good masked man. Tis of the season for the masked men and we we love them and uh i have two once again two recommendations the first one's gonna be one of my favorite uh short little books and it's called scream for us and it's by molly doyle and i think it's part of a series i'm not exactly sure i haven't read any of the other books if it is part of a series we have like a white shoes reverse harem team effort going on here <laughs> with ghostface michael and jason i believe were the other guys it's hot just know it is hot. It's short, so I'm not gonna again. Once again, I'm not gonna say much, uh, but just know that it will check all the boxes that you're looking as far as spicy heart. I think I have it as five chili peppers because it is so hot. Um, the next one, yeah, I can say I'm cheating because technically I haven't finished it, but so far I am absolutely loving it. It is all the rage on TikTok right now. It's gonna be Lights Out by uh, Navessa Allen. I hope I'm saying the name right. Um, look where I'm tabbing it, but this is where I'm at. I'm not even halfway through this damn book, y'all. This is where I'm at right here. Let's check trigger warnings here, y'all. The trigger warning list is so delicious look at that look at that list delicious okay uh this one is more of a comedy dark hour hour <laughs> comedy dark horror book basically it's stalker it's boyfriend's roommate we got masked man also well just one masked man now in case you're like but stephanie I don't really want darkness. I don't really want haunted houses or spice. I don't want nothing scary because I don't like scary things. What do you recommend? Well, dear viewer, I do have two books for you. And these are going to be like the most generic books, especially if you're new to books. If you're new to the fantasy world, these are like the easiest things to get you into. So we'll start off with the one that probably gets a lot of people back into reading that it's like a completed series but like it's not completed series and that's gonna be Akatar, of course a court of thorn and roses sarah j mouse now i have only read the Akatar series i haven't got into crescent city or a uh, glass of thorn series i think i'm gonna wait till next year to get into glass of thorn i'm just like thorn of glass <laughs> thorn of glass yes you're probably like Stephanie. um but that's probably gonna be till next year but for now i did read this whole series this year um, a lot of people do say that you have to get through this book first in order to continue to enjoy the series. Personally, I really like this book. I know a lot of people were like, you gotta get through it, you gotta get through it. And me and my sister were like, we like it. Okay, but that's neither here nor there. I do recommend the audiobook, especially the graphic audio, which I know the graphic audio is more expensive, especially because they do it into like two parts, but it's totally worth it. The last book, A Court of Silver Flames, that's my favorite. I am a Cassian girly, but this world, the way that she creates this whole magical fairy world, we have humans who get captured now she gets captured by a fairy after she kills like this wolf that she shouldn't have killed because it was also kind of like a shapeshifter fairy and it kind of just goes from there. The other one which is probably my favorite literally lives rent free in my head I think about it all the time is going to be Fourth Wing of course by Rebecca Yaros. Now is it like the most well written thing ever? No. I'm so obsessed. I have this version. I have the Christmas special edition version. I wanted to pre well, I wanted to buy the paperback with spray edges. Look how I'm having added. Look how this is, y'all. I have read this twice already. I don't know if it's coming through the uh thing, but I have book three on Storm will be coming out in January, and I am absolutely waiting for it because the way that book two ends, this one's way better than book two. I will say I, I book two gives you more of like the world building I feel like uh, but this one you get more entertainment um, in this general area but we have uh, it's a 
war college we have dragons we have dragon riders oh my god and darna she's so sassy i love her taryn oh i love the other one is going to be a recent read as well i absolutely love it i have pre-ordered it already i believe so i know people have it already in their hands and i'm like how did y'all get it but it's gonna be quicksilver by callie hart and i need book two now and it, it's not a completed series but we also have fairies we have a she's also a mortal person that gets transported into like fairyland it's war is happening there's also some y'all that book had me laughing so much too i don't want to say nothing i don't want to say nothing because then i'm gonna end up ruining it we're gonna do cannibalism first <laughs> Cause that's scary <laughs> it's a short one we have tinder is the flesh she is literally a tiny little book and this is by agustine Bar i don't know how to say it and in this world the animal meat has been tainted so the government has said um nobody can eat any kind of animal meat they've actually tried to get or well, they've gotten rid of all the animals so in this world these slaughterhouses are not filled with pigs or cows chickens whatever it is filled with human beings they literally make people as you would think that they would it is so disturbing so disturbing but i couldn't put it down and the way that it ends i was like All right, we're going to finish this off with vampires, which is some of my favorite deals. Um, we're going to start off with one that I just finished reading uh, last month as well. It was so cute. Literally, from the cover alone, you should get the type of vibe that it is. And this is my roommate. It's a vampire. If you're not wanting something super scary, super dark, this is a really, really fun read. Again, from the title alone, you should know what you're getting into. Don't expect, like all this other kind of nonsense um i feel like the first part of the book is a little bit better like maybe like the first three quarters of it and it kind of loses you a little bit but then at the end it was fine like overall it was fine and again it's just a cute little read nothing too like out there so basically he is a vampire who's trying to find a roommate like a human roommate to teach him about the modern day lives because he has been asleep for like the last hundred years not per his choice just something that kind of happens um it has some really funny vibes to it because he's trying to learn like different things obviously and then finally we're going to end it with the serpent and the wings of night by carissa broadbrent this is book one of the crowns of Narac naraxia naraxia i don't know how to say it. i already know i can't read um series I just started book two. I just reread this one. Why did the audio also? When it comes to fantasy, I'm not gonna lie. I do like to do audio when it comes to fantasy because it's so hard with all the names and I'm like, I don't wanna be just there list like reading and be like, uh oh see look, the way that they spell rain, there's no way I would have called them rain. There is an H between the I and the N and his name is Rain. I never would have guessed that if I had read it <laughs> myself versus the audio. Um, but this is, <laughs> I talk about this book a lot, I, I, I have Hunger Games, but also Underworld, the movie. The Hunger Games version of it is that there's a competition called the Qatari. Basically, if you win that, you get granted a wish by like the goddess Noraxia. And uh, she, of course, wants to be a vampire because she is because she's tired of just being this vulnerable human. <laughs> uh, but it's a lot of fun. There is a romance that brews here. I forgot I have one more category, and that's going to be splatter punk. Yes, I have one of those two. I only have one book because <laughs> that book. So, yeah. Dead inside by uh chandler morrison oh my gosh it's also a small book when i tell y'all <laughs> we got an ob nurse who eats babies like dead babies okay and then we have a night guard who also works at the hospital and he likes to dead people or dead females okay no matter how old they are and then they just kind of like come together and there's when they come together i literally needed to put the book down multiple times when there was like a whole <sighs> scene with the head <laughs> it's a lot okay
okay and I know splatter punk is for a lot of people I don't know if it's for me I kind of do want it to be for me because it was like a lot but I like it like ah let me know some other splatter punk book recommendations it's traumatizing but it's enjoyable okay these are my book recommendations for y'all to read this fall a little bit of some different categories I hope you guys enjoy if you haven't already please give this video a like comment share subscribe drop those recommendations down below once again I am just kind of stopping by and visiting the booktube world. But if you are interested in movie related content, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, and I guess it's going to be all for night two of 13 Nights of Fright. It's probably going to be a longer video than the other ones, but it's quite all right. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.